Right, there we go. Here's my little blonde ponies. They've, I think they've been, they look like they might have been shaved, but they do look much skinnier than usual. Hello, darling. Look at you. You're so beautiful, darling. You all are. Oh, I got a shock then. Oh. It's enough to give me a flipping cardiac arrest. I stung myself. I got shock. Yeah? I got shock. Yeah, it hurt, it hurt my finger. Yeah. I just touched that quickly. Oh. If I have a cardiac arrest in a minute, it's because I touched that. The moon's up there, but I've got the non-zooming... Well, it does zoom, actually, on... Um, but it has no point. I can't focus with it. It might zoom, but it doesn't focus. But, you know, be careful of all these wires. Everything's electrified. Not very good for kids, is it? Right. Yeah. Oh, I hope you get fed soon, children. You're such beautiful little ponies, and you've got to know me over the years, haven't you? I can't see the Irish wolfhounds. They're not at the gate. They must have been taken out. Can't see them anywhere. Bye bye then. I expect you're the lady that feed you will be coming soon. Are you waiting for her? She'll be coming. Oh, look at them in that one there. Look how sad he looks. Too many. That's the main one. That's the big one. Oh, look at that little one there. Oh, sweetie. I feel sorry for animals, really. I do feel sorry for them. They should be wild and free. Kept to entertain people. I mean, I used to go horse riding a 16 year old, 17 year old on Dartmoor many moons ago. Went on a hunt once, and um, that was in the days when no one, everyone thought it was a normal. You know, that's what happened. I was on a horse for eight hours, you know. I never forget it. Well, they said, you know, whatever you do, don't ever take the master. I had a pony called Connie. She, and all the horses were frisky and excited. Do you know, I didn't really have to encourage her. She knew exactly where to go. Yeah, it was a good experience. They used to call me electric bridges in the early days because the horses were always throwing me off. Bucking me off. Yeah. Or stopping suddenly. They stop and I fly over the top. I used to bounce well. Thank God, isn't it? Thank God. They used to say, once you've fallen off six times, Sheila, you've, you're a qualified horse rider. All right. Right then, I'm going to turn off again. Let's buy up to the ponies. Over and out. Right then, I heard the dogs barking. They might be locked up. I did hear them bark though. Fortunately, they weren't out at the time. See all the bluebells though, but there's going to be a lot of um, white garlic as well. Yeah, I thought I'd do this bit. It's a nice last bit of quiet. Nice bit of quiet. Bit of the wood. Probably pick it. I bet they anything they picked up on me. Girls might have come to feed the ponies, dogs would bark at them. 
It's lovely, isn't it? This is a lovely little quiet part. Yeah, the raven. Yeah. Makes a day of it just finishing off doing this. Just makes a day of it. Pretty, isn't it? So peaceful. Yeah, I know where I am when I see the telegraph pole. Now, when I did it before. I looked at the video, I hadn't gone down far enough on this path to have got to the point where I met the other path when I first done it, when I went over, I managed to go right over there and back past the house. I went much further than I knew on the first occasion. The second occasion I did a walk down this way, but I kept thinking, well where's the turn in what I did on the first visit? And I knew, of course I kept, should have kept going down and down. And then I kept saying, well, when I looked at the video, I thought, well, I, I can't see this track. I couldn't see it. So there is a bit of a mystery to it. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little while now and take some photos. Over and out. It's very peaceful, very pretty. Right, very quick video. I've just left Hutton Wood. I got lost. It was so overgrown, the track I'd used before, I couldn't find it. Because I haven't done it both ways like that, you see, so there was I hadn't built up any reference points. But I've, I found it. I had to, like, hold on to the trees to help me get down and things like that. They lent me their branches to hold. Kind trees did. <sighs> I don't really like going through the undergrowth really from now on because um, ticks. So that will have to be avoided. But it was handy in the winter uh, when it was so muddy, that track. Right, there's a vehicle coming up. And uh, I'll just turn away. Upper Church Lane, that is. Right, that's the other path I take, and bridle path, but what I'm going to be doing, I'm going down towards Hutton Moor, then I'm going to follow this ditch, this drain, whatever, I don't know what you call it, reen, back towards uh, Western. I want to try that. That's the aim today, and that would have been quite a big hike. By the time I get home, I probably would have walked... How many hours? Let me see. Two, six, seven, or at least at least seven hours. I've already done six hours of walking already. So I've done six and a half. So I reckon um, by the time I get home, about six o'clock, I would have walked for eight hours. I don't care. I'm fine. Don't feel knackered or nothing. I like the fresh air. Right, I've got new walking shoes. That's what's made the difference because when I had my old walking shoes on, they were making my feet really ache. All right, over and out a minute.